Hey everyone, look, we're miles underground and we gotta survive with some plants and some threshers, so that's what we're gonna do. Welcome to another tutorial from Travis Monkey. Today, we're gonna look at planters really fast. We're gonna look at threshers. We're gonna look at storage, inserters, belts, and a little bit more. We got Atlantum to cover. We got some silver, silver thorn, shiver thorn. Oh man, names are hard. Kindle vine. Oh, we're gonna cover it all. Stick around, we're gonna jump right in. Hi everyone, it's Trobs. We're back for another video. You might have seen my video covering the core composer. Nice, sweet, to the point. We're gonna do that again today. Welcome to the bottom of my map. We're buried down here. Well, not really buried, there's more. We'll get down to that later in another video. Don't worry about that. But today we're dealing with planters and threshers. And we're gonna cover the planters really fast because the important bit is these threshers. I know a lot of people have questions you don't understand what to do and you're like, hey, um, this is really confusing. I don't understand the ratios. I don't understand how to separate things. Help! Well, I got you covered. We're gonna cover all of that. So let's run through it real quick. We're gonna cover today the planters. We're gonna cover the shiver thorn and the kindle vine that are gonna be going into it. We're gonna cover the threshers. We're gonna cover the double threshing process. And we're gonna cover the atlantum ore process. All of that. We're gonna get to all of it. Don't worry. I'm going to take this step by step. The point is to keep this easy for you, the viewer. You might not know what's going on. You might not understand this. You might not be an expert Factorio player. So I'm going to try and help you out. So don't worry if you don't know what's going on. I'm going to try to keep this simple. I'm going to try to explain things very clearly. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, let's get rolling. So this setup is not ideal. This is not the most efficient, but this is a setup that hopefully will work for you or something similar and it will give you an idea on how to configure yours. That's the point we're going for here. I am not trying to tell you how to set up your base. I'm not trying to tell you this is the most efficient way. No, I'm trying to tell you this is will guide you on the path. If you don't know, if you don't understand how to use these pieces of equipment, I want to help you get to that point. That's where we're at. If you know what's going on, hey, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't mind critiques as long as you know you're actually trying to help. So please tell me, hey, Trobs, actually, it, that's cool. Let me out. I want to help you, help me, etc. So as you can see just now, this Kindle Vine, or Kind Living, if you prefer, just had a harvest. It is sending those down the line, and it is the same over here for the Shiver Thorn. It, it, once the harvest is complete, as you can see, an inserter will pick up a seed, deposit it in the planter, planter now starts growing with new seed. Once it's harvestable, it gets sent down the line to our thresher. Now we're going to go ahead and focus on this right line first with the kind levine, kind levine, the kindle vine, whatever you'd like to call it. We're going to start on this side first. The process is essentially the same for both shiver thorn and kindle vine, but we're going to start here just because of the way I've configured this for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, that just picked up a seed. It's going to plant it. We're going to get more plants. So we're going to follow this through this process. As you can see, there is right there one of the lovely little Kindle Vine plants and it's gonna get deposited into the thresher. As you can see, it goes through the threshing process and we're gonna get two byproducts that are gonna get dumped out right here. One of them being the seeds, that is that bright yellow thing, which our filter is gonna pick up and I'll explain that in a moment. And then of course, there's the Kindle Vine stems themselves, which are being ignored by the filter and going past. So let's explain all this real quick. What is happening is the Kindle Vine is being harvested and once it is deposited into the thresher, you get those new pipe products. What's going on? The, the way this is configured is for fast offloading. If you don't have fast inserters yet, that's okay early on, but you're going to want to upgrade because this thing can process quickly. So as you see, once it processes, all of the inserters grab and offload. If I had a lot more material coming through, this goes very quickly. And you'll, I'll help demonstrate that in a moment. Now, once it goes past, I have these filters set up to grab the seeds, which are then sent back to the planters to start the process over. The Kindle Vine stems themselves, completely ignored, continue down the belt and deposit it into the second threshing. As I said, we we're gonna cover that. So, second threshing, the Kindle Vine stems are placed into a thresher and they are processed. Now, as you can see, this one is not offloading real quickly. That's because this one gets a lot more material. As, they, as these come down the line, as this is supplying heavily, this doesn't offload real fast. It's where a lot of people get hung up, and that's what we're going to discuss. So when you process Kindle Vine, you're going to get two byproducts. You're going to get plant matter fiber. That's what this is right there. We'll look at it in the inventory real quick. Plant matter fiber. You get it 
from processing the Kindle Vine stems. You also get Kindle Vine extract. This is something that plenty of people struggle with. You don't know what to do with it. There's so much of it. The thresher is making it really fast. Help, 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 help. I, I understand. So here you go. We'll throw, go ahead and fill this up. And if you notice, it's going to get pretty full pretty quickly because I have small inserters on here. And that's the point I was going to make. So we'll get back to that too. Don't worry. But as you notice, it's really overloading the line. But our filters now set up to grab the extract is splitting the line. Now, this is a little resource intensive. If you're early on and you can't get a lot of filter inserters due to power or electrical components or whatever, it's fairly cheap. You only need iron and you only need copper. Uh, so once you get iron and copper running, it's not too bad to get. But as you can see, once you can devote the resources, this Kindle Vine extract's not getting past my filter. Look, you can see this whole group. There's a ton of it coming down the line. None of it's getting past my filter. I've had this running for hours today since I built it. I built this explicitly for demonstration and there's not a single piece of Kindle Vine extract in my storage. Same over here, not a single stem, all the Kindle Vines getting to the right location. So it's really a simple setup. When you, when you break it into steps, I, I think it's fairly simple and we'll run back through it. And before we run back, when we go through the other side, we'll run through it again. So re to recap, to process Kindle Vine, we have our planter. Here's a seed coming down the line. Planter, once it's harvested, it goes down the line as Kindle Vine. It gets threshed. When we get two byproducts, those two byproducts are gonna get offloaded. The seeds get sent back to the planter. The stems themselves get processed in the thresher as they are getting now. You then get Kindle Vine extract and plant matter fiber. I filter on the belts. I highly suggest you filter on the belts. I highly suggest you actually do this. And this is why I had these separated. I actually really think the moment you can get fast inserters, you should. Because the difference in speed between a fast inserter and a slow inserter, I'm gonna let this build up while these are crafting. I intentionally didn't have any ready, so we'd have a moment. You notice this is building up. There's a lot getting there. So, oh man, are we gonna be able to offload it? The struggle that's truly gonna come now is simply from the belts. The more resources you have coming down the line, the bigger the belts you need. And now I could easily offload it faster than it's made, but it might take a minute with the belts to catch up. It will eventually come around. And it's that's the big thing is you wanna upgrade, you can get new belts, you can get new inserters, everything speeds up. And that's what the other line is. So as you can see, it was backed up. Filters, still no problem. Still staying right on top of it. Oh, we might actually struggle here for a moment. Okay, see, so here's where the, are we gonna struggle? Are we gonna see a real struggle? Ah, uh, no, I built it too good. No struggle, no, no extract made it past. But if the belts are upgraded, it might make it a little easier, a little less stressful. So anyway, that is the Kindle Vine. We're gonna look at the Shiver Thorn. It's the exact same setup with a little bit of change. And I'll point out really fast. Real fast, real quick and easy. If you have any questions about that entire process, let me know. Let's go review it on the other side, shall we? We have Shiver Thorn in the planters. Once they're harvested, they go down the belt. They come all the way around and they are processed here. Oh, one is about to finish. There are seeds and there are buds. Seed is filtered, bud is sent down the line and processed. Now, as you can see, this one is keeping up just fine. Slightly different configuration. The filters are on top of the offload, so they grab them as soon as they can. But then once again, filtered off. This box completely filled with shiver thorn extract. This box completely filled with plant matter. No mixing, no matching. Everything's been sorted to this proper location. The biggest change here is this one the entire time has been running on upgraded belts and upgraded inserters whereas this one if you notice is still struggling with the belts so that's the difference upgrade the belts these can offload a lot faster now last thing before we come to the atlantum in your tech tree you're going to notice that there are upgrades for your thresher so if you upgrade and your threshers are getting bogged down, 
you need to upgrade your inserters and your belts because you cannot offload fast enough with the low level stuff. So keep that in mind when you start tackling these thresher upgrades. But also being said, you could later get stack inserters, that changes the game, but I'm intentionally playing a low level starter run again to cover this stuff. It doesn't help you guys out if I have all the best equipment and everything and I'm covering something low level. I wanted to start again, show off, hey, look, I don't have any upgrades. You can see I have, I don't have stack inserters. I have the threshing speed turned down. I don't even have the craft speed unlocked yet. I, I'm trying to synthesize the, the, the same experience. So as we covered all this, we're gonna go cover the Alam. We're gonna, you can see that process is as well. It's very similar, slightly different simply because it's rocks. We don't have planters involved. So let's take a look. All right, after being trapped outside, I decided to build the demonstration for this one in a nice little river area. We got our little uh, power plant here off to the side. Um, I was started to build our processing over there and I got bored and stopped. But don't worry about it. That's not important. You're not here for that. You're here for a lesson. So let's talk Atlantum Ore. If you don't know, Atlantum Ore comes from Atlantum Geodes. And the, sometimes you got to blow them up with mining charges first. We're not here to do a full coverage of Atlantum Ore, just the general stuff, but we'll cover what happens when you process it. So what we have configured over here are our filter inserters. They are told to pull the limestone from the line, and we are gonna go ahead and take half of our Atlantum and just toss it in here. This box will unload it, and we can start the observation process. So this is going to process very quickly. And that's, just, again, people get overwhelmed by the speed at which these things process. So as you can see, it's offloading. Limestone goes in the box to the left. Atlantum crushed now goes off to the right. And as you can see here, you got some Atlantum powder. It'll just continue to stack up. The limestone will go the other way and everything will get processed. And this line backs up. As it clears out, it'll make more, and so on and so forth. And you, you get it, I hope, by now. We've covered it like four or five times, and I hope you understand. I'm going to leave you with a little bit more info just to stress some things. Uh, but really, it boils down to just make sure you're offloading quickly. Offload quickly, filter down the line. That's my philosophy in the current state of the game. I like doing that. Now, that being said... I said I had a little more. I have an advanced method of doing this, but I'm not going to cover that yet. Check in a week or so. But there is a better, possibly better, most uh, more efficient way of offloading this stuff that, especially at in game when it gets really, really fast and you're overloaded. We're not covering that here. This is basic, and I hope you got the basics. If you don't, there's a lot of footage in front of this, a lot of me talking about threshers and inserters and filters and storage and belts and everything else. Well, yeah, I had a lot of fun covering this for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Trobs Monkey covering threshers and tectonica. What a great time, right? I love it. I hope you love it. This is a good time. I had somebody tell me I was too excited. I'm sorry, that person. Well, I hope you come back and enjoy this too excited video too. Chobs Monkey, content, yay! I'm out. Thanks so much for watching.